What's going on YouTube? Today is a super exciting day because the 2021 League of Legends season just launched and with that season release, we also got an in-depth look at a lot of Riot Games games. <laughs> and they talked about our beloved Legends of Runeterra. So I wanted to take an in-depth look at exactly what they said because it was incredible how cryptic they were. And if you didn't watch it multiple times, you probably weren't going to realize exactly what they said. So let's get started. So first of all, they revealed Shurima. This wasn't a surprise to really anyone. This has been data mined for a long time, but they did talk about the in-game mechanics. The first in-game mechanic that they talked about was Buried Relics. I'm assuming Buried Relics is going to be something kind of similar to Celestials spawning unique cards that you can't get inside of your main deck, but using suboptimal cards to get those more powerful cards. They also talk about predicting the future. I'm not sure if this is hinting at more tutor cards coming inside the game, cards that allow you to forcefully draw cards out of your deck or champions out of your deck that you're looking for, or if this is cards more along the lines of the most recent expansion that we got, the Shadow Isles card, Stalking Shadows. Stalking Shadows will allow you to look inside your deck at the top four cards and pick a champion out of those top four cards. Um, this might be something, a mechanic that Shurima revolves around because Bilgewater is kind of known for high draw. This might be a mechanic that is really heavily inside of Shurima. So we'll just have to see. They were very cryptic. This is ju all just speculation. Next, they talk about tapping into godlike power of Ascended. They mention, quote, Shurima's power are available to those who are resourceful enough to survive. I take that as resourceful meaning mana, ascended kind of meaning enlightened, and I'm assuming this is going to be potentially a new mechanic where if you hit like 8 or 9 mana, maybe it's just enlightenment and they didn't want to specifically say enlightenment, otherwise it would make it too obvious. I'm not really I'm not really sure, but then with them using the word resourceful, I'm assuming they're hinting at mana and they talk about surviving so i'm thinking it means you need to survive late into the game to unlock this power makes me a little concerned because some of the celestials are extremely powerful so we'll just have to see what shreem has got in store for us they also say be warned the sands do not forgive this could be hinting at these celestial type cards having massive downsides to them or it could just be you know marketing flair added into the video but shreema wasn't the only thing leaked we also got something I'm not sure anyone was expecting. They talked about Aphelios. Aphelios is a new champion coming into the game in the next month. This will be before the Shurima reveal. This will spark a new type of roadmap for Legends of Terra, where we will still be getting the major expansions every six months, the mini expansions every two months, but it seems like they're going to be sprinkling in new champions here and there as well, which more content, the better. Aphelios looks extremely interesting. So he looks like a more stat front-loaded version of TF with some of the flexibility Twisted Fate has, which is going to make deck building around him extremely flexible and really creative. He's going to have a weapon creation system called Moon Weapon, and I'm assuming it's going to be a lot like Reforge. They hint at a loon guiding you, which I think is a card teaser towards another moon weapon type generator. It could only be Aphelios that generates them, but I have a feeling he's going to be a lot like Riven. If you play League of Legends, his cards that he summons, the moon weapons, work a lot like they do inside the game. He has an order of weapons that he can summon in, and it forces you to plan out what weapon you want to be using at what time that way you can get weapons that you want at certain times in the future that might be a little confusing so let me give you an example for example if you pick the sniper weapon which is shoot three damage at an enemy at slow speed for two mana this will give you access to phase in or spawn a card inside your hand another moon weapon that is either the gravity gun which is a stun or it's going to be the lifesteal gun which is grant, grant an ally stats and lifesteal. So if you're familiar with the way the weapons work inside of League of Legends, it's a lot like that, but it seems like you get more options. That way you're not stuck in a very linear path once you pick your first weapon. You can pick your first weapon and then go to a, two weapons ahead and then go to two weapons ahead. That way it's easier to skip around inside the weapon order. 
I love this card design. He seems like he's going to be extremely flexible with how many different things you can do with him. He has a stun. He has a damaging ability. He has an overwhelm buff. He has a lifesteal buff. He, he's got a lot of a lot of tools and I'm this is the most excited I've ever been for a champion honestly and he'll be coming within the next month so look forward to that next thing they talk about is champion mastery I love this system basically whenever you play a champion you get points towards that champion the more you play that champion the more points you get once you break certain milestones you will unlock cosmetics for that champion it looks like they're going to be level up cosmetics so when you flip your champion it will have a slightly different flair to its animation uh, i'm not sure if there's anything more to that but that's what it looks like for now basically free cosmetics for the champions that you love to play which is which is awesome lor is known for its generosity and this is just another example of them being very generous towards their players the next thing they talk about is a new lab which is co-op versus ai you're going to be able to work with a buddy in order to defeat waves of enemies basically uh if you want to see me collab with any streamer in particular for this uh, let me know in the comments below this is something i'm really excited for honestly this whole this whole reveal has been a banger everything that i saw inside this reveal i was jumping out of my seat for so uh yeah let's move on to the next one because the next one is extremely cryptic at the very end of the video he says they would ruin me if he kept talking about anything else and then he says I wouldn't even be missed. And then they show a video of someone playing the spell Ruination onto a board with Lucian Cinna, which is very clearly hinting at a cinematic they played during the League of Legends section of the Riot reveal. And they're talking about a champion that's coming into the game called the Ruin King. And the Blade of the Ruin King game is coming out here soon. So I have a feeling that the Blade of the Ruin King game is going to launch. We're going to get an event in LOR where it'll be another spontaneous champion coming out. And we'll get, hopefully, the, the Blade of the Ruin King champion. I'm forgetting his name. Viego, I think it is. And it just blows my mind that this card, Ruination has been in the game since the launch. This has been like a cryptic teaser for this event this long. Like, this is why I love Riot Games and this is this is why there, there's no other company that can really put that flavor the way that Riot Games does. So with this event, we'll probably get some cosmetics, maybe a couple new cards into the game, kind of like the Spirit Blossom event or the KDA, KDA event, uh, either way. Whatever it has in store for us, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to it. I've never been a huge lore junkie, but these little cryptic teasers and leaks that they've been just trickling, trickling around really does make me excited about the lore and really does make me excited about the champions because uh, I'm, I'm invested. All right, guys, that's my rundown on the reveals for today. I'm definitely looking to more reveals in the future. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments below and also let me know what you were most excited for on the launch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.